entertainer Shaggy is being treated like Scooby-Doo over Bustamante Hospital charity funds after all that he has done. The money has been in the account. We never touch the money. We never move with the money. We never carry it away. Teach them! Always make sure the message has reached them! Shaggy was recently forced to defend his credibility when he was pushed to disclose the status of more than 100 million Jamaican dollars raised from his Make a Difference Foundation charity show two years ago. The money was raised to purchase additional beds for the Bustamante Children's Hospital Intensive Care Unit. And despite handing over a symbolic check for the funds, the hospital is yet to benefit from the concert's proceeds. Well done, well done. This revelation was made by the Gleaner newspaper in its publication on Sunday the 3rd of November, titled Buster Still Waiting, Hospital Yet to Get Benefit from $100 million Raised at the 2018 Shaggy and Friends Charity Concert. In a press briefing held on Monday, November 11 at the hospital, Shaggy reassured persons that the money was not misappropriated but would instead be going towards expanding the ICU and the purchase of 150 additional beds. The money has been there the whole time. It is earmarked for an ICU. If we earmark something for an ICU, we can't just take it and buy them something. We will be turning it over to the Bustamante Hospital for our children to do this new project with Dr. Kenny Benjamin. All right. <laughs> And it's full structure here now. So we'll see what that part is, you know? The money has been in the account. We never touch the money. We never move with the money. We never carry it away. The money has been there the whole time. It's earmarked for an ICU. We will be turning it over to the Bustamante Hospital for Children to do this new project with Dr. Kenny. Um, ben Benjamin and the hospital. We hereby certify that the balance at credit of Jamaican dollar account number held at the Scotia Bank Center branch as at November the 11, 2019 is $112,205,000. In relation to the controversy, Shaggy said that the money was initially geared towards the expansion of the intensive care unit and has been in a Scotia Bank account, which the Shaggy and Friends Foundation started in 2014. He said that given the pressing need for more beds at the facility, as was highlighted by the hospital's chairman, Dr. Kenneth Benjamin, the foundation will be partnering with others to build a three-story structure to treat more patients. However, a seemingly emotional Shaggy says, questions raised around the funds have left him feeling disheartened and at a point where he and his team will be thinking long and hard about the way forward. He said the development has left him feeling disappointed. Quote, I am moving forward. I have to really think about this with my team. Shaggy also launched a counter-offensive, possibly at the Gleaner, who had printed the initial story, questioning the whereabouts of the money. So when you know I write on a paper them, and I say on a lot of things, think very carefully how you know I do them. And it is not that we didn't have a conversation with you people before. We spoke before the article was published. Be careful. Whatever on a tabloid and on a deflection, and whatever I go on now in politics, this has nothing to do with the children of Jamaica. Me never touch the money. Me never move the money. The money is there. Full transparency. That is what we are about, he said. Furthermore, he stated, it was never the foundation's policy to hand over funds raised directly to the hospital but rather to meet the medical facilities needs through the purchase of items. During the press conference, Shaggy also shared that one of the reasons there will be no concert in 2020 was that his team had not been able to find a suitable location. He noted that over the years, the event has grown resulting in traffic congestion. One of the ways he said to ease the pileup was to use the East Lawn at King's House. 
He revealed that while the Governor General had granted the use of the lands for the event in 2018, he received a letter stating that this space will no longer be made available for the event. This is what Shaggy said. One of the problems we are having is getting the East Lawn of King's House. Without the East Lawn, it is chaos. But we had a little bit of an issue with the now sitting Governor General, who did not want us to use the East Lawn. We went back and forth years upon years, and I had everybody, straight up from the Prime Minister, everybody that I would think of to talk to him. Last year, with a lot of back and forth, him finally kind of caved and gave us the parking lot. So we figured that we're good now. We can stage another one again. He sent me a letter, pretty much saying, don't ask me about the parking lot there again, period. However, in a statement, King's House noted that it has accommodated requests from the Shaggy Make a Difference Foundation for use of the West Lawn for parking over the years. On December 17, 2017, we received a request for the use of the East Lawn for parking for the January 6, 2018 concert. A further request was also made to cut an existing fence to allow for a passage from the East Lawn to the grounds of Jamaica House. This action would have affected the security of both properties and the request was denied. Nevertheless, given the circumstances regarding traffic congestion, flow and control, a concession was made. However, the organizers were advised that in the future the East Lawn would not be available and they would need to revert to the previous arrangements for parking. That is the West Lawn, the statement read. King's House added that the East Lawn of the property is only used for parking for national occasions, such as the swearing in of Prime Ministers and the National Honours and Awards Ceremony. Yo, Shaggy, the vibe is hot. Teach them! Hey, yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here, Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying, until next time, walk good, my friends.